Yeah, it's just like we were saying, God is in control. Uh, He does just what he wants. So the ninth chapter of Romans, this is what he tells us in the ninth chapter of Romans. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continue sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ for my brethren and my, my kinsmen according to the flesh who are Israelis, Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises whose are the father and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ's name flesh concerning the flesh Christ came who is over all God bless forever amen not as though the word of God has taken non effect, for they are not all Israel that are Israel. Did you hear what he said? Just because you live in Israel doesn't mean you are all Israelis because we are adopted into the family. So he said, not all Israel, which is of Israel, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all called children. Neither, because they are the seed of Abraham, are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, that which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God. My God. Mm. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. For this is the word of the promise At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children not being born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth or him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. For the scripture says unto Pharaoh, even for this purpose, even for the same purpose, have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, have the mercy on whom, therefore he, therefore hath he mercy on whom he have mercy, and whom he will, he harden, he will harden. Thou wilt say then unto me, why does ye find fault? Why does he find fault? For who has resisted his will? Nay, but, O man, who art thou that thou replies against God? My God, shall one thing form say to him that formed it? Why hast thou formed me thus? Has not the potter power over the clay? For the same lump to one make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor what if God willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endureth with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the first vessels of mercy 
which he has afore prepared unto glory, even us whom he had called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. As he says also in Asi, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which are not beloved. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it shall be said, it shall, it was said unto them, you are not my people. There shall they be called the children of the living God. My God, now see, (laughs) a lot of times people overlook the most important thing associated with uh, the Lord. Oh, we Abraham see, we see the Abraham. He said everybody that was born of Abraham is not <laughs> a court, is not a part of the family, but you according to you being engrafted in through the blood of Jesus Christ. And you have no merit just by saying uh, you of Israel. He says some, all of Israel is not Israel because there are some Gentiles got just as much love and affection in his direction than the, people of Israel itself. And that's why he says, Isaiah's also cried, this 27th verse, also cries concerning Israel. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant, a remnant, a remnant shall be saved. That's just a little small portion. That's not all of Israel. That should have you shaking in your boots. Do you understand? Yeah. Amen. So, <laughs> You sitting up there talking about you Abraham seed and uh, heirs according to the promise. You better recognize if you don't recognize Jesus Christ as your God, Lord, and Savior, you're in trouble. This is what he tells you about who's in control. God's required to do whatever he does because he's our father. So he is responsible for us. Isaiah 45, 5, I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God besides me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they might know from the rising of the sun and from the west there that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I form light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. God is sovereign. And that's why you heard in the song, he can do just what he wants. Because God is in control. Amen? Amen. Amen. So why are we always trying to challenge and guess what's going on with the Lord? Because God's going to always be God, irrespective of what we think or not. Is that a, a right statement? Yeah. So when we start feeling that <laughs> we need to make sure we get out there and vote, if we don't vote, we're going to be in trouble. You're going to be in trouble either way if you don't resist, if you don't uh, do what the Lord tells you to do. And, and uh, he tells you to be a good citizen and to obey the laws of the land. But the point is you, you put man law over the Lord's law and that's the problem you have to understand that what render under Caesar what is Caesar and when under God what is God and see the, some people trying to merge the two and that's not what he told you to do if the constitution tells you to do something do what the constitution tells you to do but the higher authority is what God tells you to do don't get it twisted this is the 13th verse of Romans, 13th chapter. Romans 13. <clears throat> Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resists the power resistes the ordinance of God and they that resisteth shall receive 
to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For the for he is the minister of God to the thee of for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he bears not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God and a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For this cause pay ye tribute also, and that for they are God's ministers attending continually upon this very thing. He telling you to pay taxes, right? Some people say you fool for paying taxes. And here God just told you to pay taxes. I think we need to go back as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end, and get that what they were saying about God being in control, and we're going to come back and...
Hallelujah. It was so nice we had to play it twice. And if you need to get that assurance that Lord is in control, he tells us in Romans 10, 9, if you confess with your mouth, Lord Jesus, believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you're saved. And because with the mouth, confession is made to salvation. With the heart, belief is made into righteousness. And we believe that. We also believe in Luke eleven thirteen. He said, you being good, evil know how to give your children good gifts. How much more will your heavenly father give you the Holy Ghost if you ask him? Now, look, we know that uh, people are anxious about what's going on in the government and with the election. Do what the Lord requires you to do. If you vote, vote. Make sure you vote according to what the Lord puts on your heart to vote. But always know that God is in control. We're going to end with the scripture, and we're going to pray. Psalm 75, 6. Now, look, we know that the Lord is in control of government. He said he gives mercy to who's to give mercy, and he is the sovereign Lord. He's the potter with a clay. No argument with that take the good with the bad you just can't like football when you win all the time you got to play the game until you lose and then somebody else will get a chance and you win and they win but see you can't win all the time so any given state know that God is in he's the referee Psalms 75 says for promotion comes neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south but God is the judge. He put us down one and he set us up another. For the hand of the Lord, there is a cup and the wine is red. It is full of mixture and he pours out of the same. The Lord is in control. Lord God, we thank you for this segment. We pray for those that are sick of them, buying their body, those are less fortunate hospitals, nursing homes, hospices, those incarcerated and unemployed, even those that are on death row, that you give them peace. We pray for your apostles, prophets, evangelists, preachers, teachers, local and universal. We pray for your churches, local and universal. We thank you for our president and vice president, your God, and with your awesome responsibility, knowing that you are in control, according to the word in Romans 13. We pray for leaders all over the world. We pray for peace in this world. We pray for our enemies that they cease from troubling. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem that we prosper and love the holy city. Peace be in our gates, prosperity in our palaces. We pray for the salvation of Israel, that they come to know you as their God, Lord, and Savior, Jesus Christ. We pray for our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines, and all our men and women in uniform that stand watch over our safety. Now, Lord God, we thank you for this this great segment that you've given us, this awesome responsibility to spread your word to make disciples of man. So let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our be acceptable in O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. God is in control. Oh, teach me, Master. Master, teach me. Oh, teach me. To wait Oh, when I I bow At the altar Oh, teach Me what To say Oh, I would not Live Live a liar Come on, master. Teach me, master. Uh-huh. Teach me. You know that sound good right now. Listen. Teach me, uh-huh. teach me. Oh, teach, teach me how to pray. Master, teach me, master, teach me, listen, teach me. 
for I would not be a gambler. Forward to having you again for another edition of what Jesus says. Amen.